naturally mimi ni mbishi i don't settle for less i think i should tell them they're the best cause that's that's like wow ukisha amufanya yani like to play a game like a basket any ball game as a girl that's already you're already a, a winner If you're doing something, don't do it for fun. Push it. And you do it for a reason and a purpose. Oh, but this is it. I was very creative. 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 I was very So, I'm just a fun person. I was very creative. I was very creative. I was very creative. Toka niko mdogo nilikuwa na mwana babangu anacheza badminton. Kwa mm hiyo -hmm. my first sport ilikuwa gani badminton. And my mama alikuwa anapenda table tennis. Kwa hivyo vitu viwili vikawa yani ni vitu ambavyo nilikuwa naviona all the time hivyo hivyo nikaenda shule tukawa tunacheza tu sports za kawaida nikawa napenda mpira miguu nikiwa mm -hmm. nafikiri ni ni darasa la kwanza kitu kama hicho. Yeah. But then nikaona no 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 no, no. it's sio kitu ambacho kina nivutia yeah. nikapata nikakutana na kazini yangu moja tukiwa dogo yeah. anapenda basketball mm -hmm. nikakutana na mpira nikaona mpira wake kwa tofauti na wa football kwa hiyo nikaanza ku admire ule mpira ndio okay. kitisha kwanza kichonivuta kwenye basketball mm -hmm. na baada ya hapo nika tukienda kwenye sports na baba anaona kabisa interest yangu tena siko kwenye mpira wa miguu siko kwenye mpira mpaka nikaingia kwenye kwenye basketball so from there i can introduce kwenye kwa coaches za mbao wanafundisha basketball na tukaanza toka nikiwa mdogo mpaka sema ambao tulikuwa tunakaa tulikuwa karibu na Don Bosco Temeke yeah. so babangu akienda kufanya mazoezi na mimi nipo na mdogo wangu yupo na dadangu yupo so tukajikuta mimi mdogo wangu dadangu wote tuko kwenye basketball yeah. baba yeye anafuatilia tu mmefikia wapi nini nini hivyo kwa hiyo from that the story about me anza kucheza basketball mpaka sasa mpaka of late nafikiri like um, 2011 ndo nikaacha yani nikaacha ile kwamba now I need to be serious with other stuffs. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm in danger. So keep to find it. I'm not serious. I'm not under wingy. I'm not lazy. I'm not shy. I'm so much. I'm not going to say something. I'm just going to be sure. Say something. I'm going to be in my choker. I'm going to catch it. I'm even going to basket balls. I'm going to be more fun. Sio kitu ambacho nitasema na mkati na subuhi kama mwanzoni nilikuwa nafanya degree unajua uchukulie vitu very serious. Lakini you know masters una ichi una ichi like sana na na baadaye nitakuja kufanya kwa sasa hivi acha kwanza nitafute hizi grades za shule zende vizuri afu basket ulifanya yani ni put so much energy in classes alafu nilikuwa naongopa ni fail ni spate low grades kwa sababu at that time sikuwa si kwenye ile level ya kusema anacheza basketball niko under sponsorship of basketball tuseme afu kuna soma kwa hiyo lazima ucheze 24 hours kwa it was more of like activities iko party activity lakini nikaona ile party activity kwa sababu nafanya kazi then again nilikuwa ninasoma nje kwa hiyo nikuta nafanya kazi na choka na soma na bora niache kwenda kucheza niingie kazini kwa sababu you have to pay fees and all that you know kwa hiyo kaa tena basi paka nimerudi huko tena ndo nakutana tena na maisha ya bongo na kimbizana race ngasema Mungu wangu sijui watu wanafanyaje lakini oh my god i need to stop it for a while mpaka mambo yangu yakae vizuri sasa hivi mimi nimejiajiri nafanya biashara zangu mwenyewe moja hapo ni Florinia Crochet about to nafuma accessories necklaces even kama hizo zao okay. yeah so nibe biashara ambayo ndo nimeanza like almost uh, 5 years ago mm -hmm. lakini 3 years it was more of marathon yeah but after market ku settle go see count and i will count off like 2 2 to 2 3 years ambayo ndo nimekuwa serious na ndo biashara ambayo tunafanya sasa hivi nafanya sasa hivi na nafanya in a way kwamba najaribu ku kufanya kazi na wasichana. Na wasichana ni kutoka kwenye community yangu. Um, ni wengi wao hawana yani wana lack privilege. They don't have enough privileges. Kwa I'm trying to empower them through ufumaji, activities to for for crafts, kushona, alafu the bit that we are selling tunawapatia na wao kidogo cha kujikim. Kwa sababu wengi wametoka kwenye broken families, wengi wana either one is a chronic disease mm -hmm. HIV nini wengine ni wamepitia through abuse domestic or rape kwa hiyo we work with them in a way to make them understand kwamba there is still life there is still hope 
Kwa hiyo through that whatever we sell we give them a percentage nyingine na kupo kuendeleza biashara. Okay, nikiangalia mimi naturally mimi ni mbishi. I don't settle for less. Okay. <laughs> yes. Kwa hiyo nikiangalia kama nilivyokuwa nafanya basketball mwanzoni before tulikuwa na team ya wasichana, mimi kwa anacheza na team ya wavulana. Tulikuwa tunaga team ya wasichana, Don Bosco Temeke. But my coach ni kwa my dad akaniambia hawa ni wavulana. Wewe ni msichana. I'm not a fault. Wewe ni msichana, wewe ni mvulana. You're all human beings. You're all tall. You can play. Cheza kwa Kwa ni kama nafukuta nafanya mazoezi na wavulana. Yaani kuna I mean team ya kwanza kwenye tena team rockets ni kama she's getting. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. And our coach yeah. called coach Pierre. Yeah. Akana ni switch na cheza na kwa point guard na kwa namba 2 hivyo. Kwa hiyo ile ile speed niliokuwa nao mimi nikiingia kwenye team ya wasichana najikuta unafika kule wenzio bado wanatraki. So I had that momentum my momentum was so high and I was pushing yani kama like okay kwa nini msiasifanye hiki kitu kwa hiyo kwa ile ubishi nikuta okay I can still do something. Kwenye games tunaenda sisi tunacheza sisi huku nani ABC ya sisi ni mazoezi na saa 12 na za coach Zawadi na yeye I'm there. Huku mbona wewe dada uko poa anaweza kacheza. Na mimi kwa I'm good. I thank God I was good. Na anacheza now. So ile ikanipa kwamba unajua nini? You can do something of your own. Then I thought about my business. I thought of nilikuwa napenda sana kufuma. My mom taught me. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm going to do this. What my coaches have been teaching me ni kwamba if you can do this, then you can do anything. If you can push, you can do anything. Unaenda sisi society dafika siyo istini. Every time is mama pale anakuangalia. Mia, you have to do. I don't know kabisa you are dying but anakuangalia. Mia. <laughs> Kwa hiyo push na push so like if I can use this energy in business I can get somewhere. Kwa hiyo anakuja bongo anampia ah subiri kwanza. Sio nini nini. Sio unataka kibali, sio nene. Kana kwa hiyo I need that. Then I had to bring it back. Kwa maana now get in tafuta network, push, fanya hichi, fanya hichi, tafuta vijana, fanya nao kazi, nenda ka pitch, nenda nazunguka kama kicha and then i was like you know what i can make it kwa mwisho wa siku nime launch my business i'm traveling my business is taking me to different countries and i'm like i can do it na hiyo tunatokana na push from my coaches like it's not about you being a woman it's about you being a person and push pushing it yani like making the effort kwa hiyo ile energy ya kule ni kaji mpate kwenye biashara so even a push mtaki niambia yeye iwezekani niambia okay fine i go home i read i check i google yeah. when i come back i'm taking over you are the best <laughs> yeah. and the best is all you are kwa mfano kama mwanzoni the way i was doing my business kwamba i work with teams na through my team yani basketball basketball has been my life because i one thing pia i learned about i trained on being a coach and you know when you coach Everest now coach Bahati I remember in that class I was the first Nikafolo was and coach alikuwa in a teaching on different nani patterns of how to attack how to do the defense and all that una mko watu watano sijui mna labda 1 2 2 au 1 3 yani vile so when i came to do my business kana angalia nafanya kazi na wasichana ambao au vijana ambao hawaja hawana enough knowledge wengi wameshinda saa saba, for four. so so sometimes could convince somebody to sit and do what i'm doing sababu kazi yangu ni kufuma ile kazi inachosha ina boa yani one of one of the most boring work lakini if you enjoy the process unajikuta everything works kwa hiyo i used to sit them kwamba wao wanatengeneza ukitengeneza yeye unampa huyu huyu atamgezea kitu fulani yule atamgezea kitu fulani ile ile ikifika kwangu mimi na ungalisha tumemaliza kwa hiyo that team work has been like that mpaka to some point hata nikiwa nimesafiri naambia guys um tunash nimepata order eh tufanye nini like wako kama saba hivi wengine wameondoka kujili ya shule hatu let them go to order eh kitu gani tutengeneza piece laba tatu ah okay piece ipi nahitaji laba jeni okay tunatumia nani gani formation a au formation a nasi tunakapale amisipa nani hamisa pale wewe nani 
mjumla labda pa nataka anatengeneza anampatia tetetete na pita pita inaisha ni katika tetetete inaisha ni katika so at the end of the day basketball is not just about being in the ground but my basketball is my piece mpira wangu tahamu kwa hiyo tutaka tupeka pa tutaka pa afiki kama tunaona for them wanaona ni it's a team ring to me it's like okay Formation A is 1 2 3 4. Kwa na jua PC tukitengeombea nataka piece fulani inatengenezwa formation A, formation hiyo unajua tunakaa wanne. Kwa hiyo labda wawili au watatu watakuwa wanafanya shule nyingine hawapo kwenye ile team. Yeah. Wakimaliza then they meet up and then we discuss and all that. So my basketball and my work is just life. You're the best. Una ujumbe gani kwa wasichana ambao wanajihusisha na basketball? Wasichana na wasichana na basketball. Uh, I think I should tell them they're the best cuz that's that's like wow. Ukisha am kufanya yani like to play a game like a basketball any ball game as a girl that's already you're already a, a winner. Now one thing I could advise them ni kwamba if you're doing something don't do it for fun. Push it. Yani do it for a reason and a purpose or but this is it. No maana kama ngine nyingine watu wanacheza and they making millions of money yani they are putting their energy in there not so much sijui about bongo inakuwaje sana lakini kwa wasichana i would say push it research on what's best how to be the best me miaka yangu yote nacheza basketball i can't say kwamba it was chana wa bongo wako na ni tofauti but my i love every basketball girl in the, that i grew up with my favorite ni amina okay she will push yeah. she will push she will make sure yani hata kama umechoka i i remember we played with her when you don't bosco quiz like yeah. she will push like hapana haiwezekani lazima tushinde yani kwamba tumeshindwa kabisa it's like you know unafika kwenye cliff like you know what let me just fall down lakini lazima to push Amina was one of the person I used to look at and say mimi lazima niwe kama wada. Aisa ka drive mpira kiasi kwamba she just moves in and then ana funga and then everybody comes back like tuko watano man lakini like, the way she drives the ball is like wow this woman. Yeah. Uyo na Dativa yeah. she used to play for JKT na Firi Dativa ya. She was like alikuwa big na no mwana kabisa akishika mpira yake it's like oh you can't touch that ball. Yani ana like and he like this is a game you have to put everything put your energy because it's a teamwork and it's not just about me but it's about us we win together so to every girl now do it if you if you love basketball do it passionately do it with your effort soma research see what's best yani put your energy into it Now also it's not always be about basketball but also you can see kama mimi I looked around and I saw okay my business it and you could yeah you will do something how would end up far away from basketball but you'll do it in a way to you you're still inputting the knowledge of basketball just like the way I'm doing it the man I I find my work flowing very easy no I'm back coach bad I'm good with this thing yani I'm fine no problem because some way I see myself na chukifanya it's reminding me of basketball yeah. or something one of the ladies I'm buying na mpenda ni Donita Adams she she used to play for LA Sparks yeah, yeah. um not so much known but she's very very good na kitu ambacho nilikuwa nampendea she has a, she had a very so a good self drive yani she ndio ile kwamba you get in the game you're going in to win losing is part of the game but losing is not part of the game yeah. the same sentence but it is part of the game yeah. but it's not part of the game yeah. so you have to push to make sure you don't lose even though you may lose in a good way you mean so again this woman she really inspired me a lot yeah. now i used to go around and read her work meaning kenya ngakuta i think all this stuff and then yeah. she went back to being a coach and now she's giving back to the community and uh saidia was chana which is a basketball and our yeah. coach teams so when i looked at her journey i was like oh this girl i mean like she's feeding me so much yeah. i never had a chance to say mba ninge kwa coach in dar because yeah. somewhere i went to school outside yeah. But I think if I given the chance obviously I have a certificate yeah. so I think I can do it yeah. <laughs> but at the same time nashukuru with my business I'm coaching 
in a way, I'm coaching my teams and I'm trying to shape my girls to be firm, nini, evil. So, yeah, that was the question I thought you were going to ask me about my favorite international player. Well, actually, you're the best to coach Elimia your basketball, mm. you work in a real life situation, mm. teamwork for teamwork. Mm. You are trying to be a real kid from the basketball and Felicia team, teamwork mm. yeah, in a real life situation. Mm. Now you work in a reality. Mm. So yeah. you are the best coach. <laughs> the <laughs> best coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, find your place that is getting up to get one mm. product. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So some people will look and say like, ah, you know, Nakato and Afuma, like, no, my work starts with the journey itself, yeah. And sometimes we'll take it as a piece, and then it's like, it's like, ah, it's a two piece. And like, no, 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 my piece has a meaning, it has a meaning. And so I'll be able to take a piece, flani, labda, and I'm going to say, I'm flani, like, can you put it in a piece, yeah, like, ah, this piece, and I'm going to say, I'm flani, my shake, I'm going to say, I'm going that's why I made that piece. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's that's how I differentiate myself from any designer in the I just don't make for the fun of it. Because I'm for the fun of it to go to Medezakariako. That's what I don't do. So I make specific pieces based on specific stories. And through my team, I protect them through Ivio and also mentor them, shape them. I think that you know, kaka mo ingi na mo ndoka walikuwa na fuma, wakapata opportunities za kusu, wana kusoma mikuani moshi. Wameenda, they are doing good, they are happy. Mtu wangu mi ani kima hizi tu shule na rudi. I want that. So mtu wangu mi ani hizi like baka wana mtafuza vipi. Ivo upo. Like eh ani po utarudi. Ah ah si ni kufuma mi mitera. Aki mi ya mi ah. Dada ni kima hizi tu ti alikizu na kudia. And they come, they see me, and I'm like. Okay, come I did something and I'm doka and I'm happy. Carry on. So you yeah, always touch their hearts. Yeah, and that's what I feel for any entrepreneur or anybody who is trying to do something to the community. You need to leave something. Make somebody say something about you. Make somebody appreciate you. So to mempam to kazi like afanya kazi ukabili from shara ka ondoka. No. Follow through on the fikia wa api and come on. Is is there any other problem? Come on, let's come say them and say they come always come say they are still being there talking to them. Who are accomplish? But we are looking for job. You don't need to work. See, to tell us how was school. Nin nin. Oh my dear, Ivo. And on door can I do? Ah, earlier in say they are, but but you know, even if that's to me, that's better than money. Yeah. It makes me happy, and I've achieved something. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah.